I tried to warn everyone, but nobody would listen to me. Everybody thought I was crazy. Everybody thought I was just a jerk. But I saw the future, and I knew that if we respected all builds, the car scene would dissolve into what it is now. The car scene is an absolute wreck right now. It is full of just clout chasers, cringy fake people. It's embarrassing that car meets once were just full of just nice builds cars that you were excited to see to now it's just regular traffic and teenagers with their phones out like i'm not trying to be a boomer here but nobody wants to see a TikTok of your 2019 honda civic at a car meet with your neon underglow on nobody cares to see that this video is probably going to upset a good amount of people just because there's still that that side of people that that part of the crowd that think respect all builds bro like everyone's welcome well this is what happens this is what happens when we let everything in everything is just in a worse state because of it a lot of this is going to be coming from my own personal opinion and my own view on the, the car scene and what i personally enjoy so it might not line up with all of you but i'm sure a lot of you guys can relate since it seems to be a, a, a common thing now that the car scene is known to just be kind of dog water. So there's three things I really enjoy in the car scene. There's three things, you know, if, if, if it's a Friday night and I'm taking out the Supra or the, the, the shelf or the car that never gets driven. If I'm taking out one of these cars, there's three places I would want to go to a park and chill with the boys just to hang out look at some cool cars go out late at night and have some fun with the boys down in mexico or hit like a canyon or something that, that would be in this one right here although I, I did just take this to a canyon the other day and this is partly why i'm making this video because it was a very lackluster experience not necessarily because of the car the car is fun i mean thousand horsepower super in the canyon you can't expect much in the form of like putting the power down and full sending it but it's just like it, the car scene is so hollow now that's the best way i could put it it's so hollow that it's super rare to find like actual car enthusiasts even online that's like one of the worst things that i think has happened for the car scene is online it's given everybody the same amount of i guess voice which is fine there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> But it also just gives the wrong people platforms in the car scene or in anything. There's, there's people like that. There's fake gamers. There's fake car people. There's fake music people. It's like that for everything. But since we're in the car scene, I'm sure we notice it. I mean, how many times have you been scrolling through TikTok and then you guys see a girl in some high heels or a dress doing an oil change on their car? Like we see that shit once a week and it's like nobody gives a fuck to see that or you're scrolling through tiktok and you see some guy giving just some flat out bad advice on whatever car he's he's working on and don't say drew that's you that's why we want you you just suck i'm watching you but no i mean like i, I scroll on tiktok sometimes and i'll see people just giving like bad information or just like working on their car just super poorly and it never works out and it's like how are these people so high and how have people not just like disregarded like these people because they're obviously they obviously have no idea what they're talking about when it comes to cars back to the main three though the main things that i wanted to talk about car meets car meets as you guys have followed me throughout the years i've been going to car meets and recording them for you guys for years now and i always say that oh this is as bad as it can be it cannot get any worse than this this is horrible this is dog water and then i go to the one a month later and it's even worse and i go a month later and it's even worse and it's worse and it's worse and that's just because, like, the car community as a whole has been infiltrated by these respect all builds people that just... Minimum effort is okay for everyone. Everyone gets a participation award. It doesn't matter if you're pulling up in a Dodge Caliber with plasti dipped wheels and uh, neon underglow and bubbling tint. That's a build. That's such a build right there. Oh, don't the 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 Chrysler Sebring lowered to the floor on cut springs on some on some uh, Pet Boy wheels that's a build that's a fire build right there he put his hard-earned money into that one you can't criticize him on that even though he doesn't know the difference between a spark plug and a glow plug we we can't we can't cut him out we can't no no everyone's allowed that's 
that's what happens when you allow everybody in. And I don't think that you should sit there and say, no, you can't attend the crime. I mean, that's not what I'm saying here. I'm just saying like, we, we treat everybody too equally in the car scene. It's really hard to word and it's hard to say, and I might not be saying it correctly, but like nobody wants to go to a car meet with their Supra or a GT500 or a Hellcat when they're parking next to the Dodge Caliber or the Dodge Neon, not SRT4. Nobody wants to go attend that car meet. No one wants to go attend the car meet when they're in a nice modified car and then the meat gets burned by some numb nuts in a front wheel drive shit box revving and doing a burnout and then the cops come of course the cops aren't going to get the guy in the stock civic no no no. they're going to get the guy in the modified car because they have actual probable cause to pull someone like that over instead of the honda odyssey or whatever the hell was making the noise that's one of the main reasons why i don't go to car meets anymore i might go just to document but i'll probably take like the truck or something because I'm not going to pull up in this and have the meat get burned and then me get pulled over on the way home when I was doing absolutely nothing wrong. In my opinion, park and chills are just dead. They're dead. I still try to go, but that's just because I like hanging out with the boys. That's the only reason why I enjoy going. I do not go alone. I will not go alone. It is, there's no enjoyment for me. I'm, I'm tired of looking at these used car lots. It looks like shit in my opinion. But yeah, park and, park and chills, they're dead. Race meets obviously aren't dead. I mean, they still exist. I haven't been to one in a minute. But the thing that just feels so hollow now, and I don't know what has caused this directly, was when I first started making videos on YouTube, I felt like I could hop in my Mustang, or especially my Supra when I first got it, hop on the freeway wherever I was going. No matter how short the distance, I would see another car guy, and typically they were down to play around. Typically, they'd be down to pull up, they would be down to just, you know, play with the cars, you know, have a little bit of fun in a safe way, you know, make sure that there's no other cars around. Nothing, anything, never anything on the street. I would not do those types of activities on the street just because there's too many variables but if we're both going somewhere we're on the highway there's a lot of space in between us and other cars have a little bit of fun you know give each other a peace sign on the way out and then have some fun take off you know it makes your drive a little bit more enjoyable nowadays that's not the case like i said i went to the canyon the other day it was a saturday night in the supra thinking okay i'm gonna bring the 360 camera i actually have it mounted in the car and if someone pulls up on me we'll get a quick little run and i haven't really seen how the super does against other cars so you know maybe i'll see a, a bmw maybe i'll see a hellcat maybe i'll see something i didn't see a single sports car on the way there and on the way back i only saw one and he had no interest in doing anything which is fine not everyone has to race i think it was like an m8 or an 8 series bmw and he was just speeding and just no blinkers weaving through traffic or whatever i'm not going to do that that's stupid in my opinion but not a single car on a 45 minute drive to the canyon and a 45 minute drive back not a single car did i run into on a saturday night and it's like this every time i take my car i used to hate driving my daily because i would see cool cars and be like damn i wish i was in my race car so i could like play with them and stuff like that and now i just take the daily because i never see race cars anyways i used to legitimately carry my gopro with me as if it was like my wallet when i was first making youtube videos for you guys because i would see a car every time i went to go pick up my girlfriend when we were first dating I had to drive a good 10 miles to her and it was all freeway and every single time without fail, I would see a Mustang, Corvette, 
scat pack, whatever it was, and they were always down to play. Nowadays, that's just not the case. You never see any of these people anymore. You never see them coming out. I don't know if people just sold their race cars and moved on or what, but it's not even a fact of just like not being down to race. I just, I never even see them, never. The last time I saw a Mustang on slicks driving, any car on slicks, uh, I can't even think of one. Can't even think of one. I know a lot of people that were in the race scene, at least in my circle, they moved on from racing and they went to like off-road and stuff like that. And I know the off-road community is probably a lot more pleasant. Um, just in the small stuff that and just talking with people they, everyone seems nice and it seems like a lot more enjoyable to do like the off-roading stuff because there's a lot less rules when it comes to that you don't got to really worry about getting pulled over like you're off-road like you have like the freedom to do pretty much whatever you want to do within certain you know parameters and stuff like that but you're off-road there's a lot of freedom to that that's why I'm really shortly I'm gonna go off-roading here in the truck I'm waiting on a package to come for one of my American toys but uh, once that comes, I'm going to take my girl off-road and maybe go camping for a day or two. We'll see how that goes. She's not a huge fan of camping. But yeah, I don't know if it's just a lot of car people have moved on. I don't know if, if Cali laws have made it harder for car people to just enjoy their cars. But long story short, car meets are dead. The streets are hollow. Now let's talk about canyons. Canyons, I think, is one of the few places where car enthusiasts still thrive. And I feel like I might be shooting the car scene in the fucking foot right here by announcing this. But I cruised through the canyon, like I said, and I saw car guys, BRZs, 350Zs, BMWs, real car guys sending their car, having fun. And you know that they're real builds too. You know that these guys aren't sending FRSs bone stock through the canyon at like 70 miles an hour. No, these guys got actual functional mods. They're actually pushing their cars. They're actually having fun and driving them. I enjoy canyons. I wish the McLaren ran a little better than it did right now. Um, I, I do have a plan to like fix the little fuel issue. Me and Eric are gonna drop the tank and just do our best to clean out the factory fuel system. But um, yeah, like I honestly have a lot of fun driving in canyons and doing all that stuff. It's just this car hasn't been performing as it should so i will say there is still one saving grace to that um and if you're commenting down below drew why don't you just go to race meets and stuff like that race meets they, there's just too much going on i might start going and just getting a couple runs in and then leaving obviously i don't do digs if you guys follow me They're, my cars are not set up for that i don't no nah, i don't care for any of that it's cool and i do want to see what my cars do like at a quarter mile but there's no quarter mile tracks really local to me so it's it's not that big of an interest for me to do all that. I think the number one problem stemmed from the whole respect all builds thing. And it seems like a lot of people are starting to fight back and push back on it. And a lot of people are welcoming of just like allowing people to <laughs> kind of get shit talked. I'm, I'm not promoting like, hey, you should go bully people. But like, it seems like now when you see some goofy stuff like that, you open comments. And on stuff that people used to think is cool, now people are realizing like, damn, this shit's kind of lame as hell. Like, you guys remember when the whole, like, you know, broken heart phase was around and stuff like that? Like, the whole, like, oh, I don't care about anything. I'm just misunderstood and all that shit. Nowadays, when I see that stuff on cars online, I click on the comments and there's people, like, straight up talking shit about it. And it makes me laugh because I've been saying it for years. Like, that stuff is some of the goofiest shit I've ever seen. And it still is. Luckily, that trend has seemed to have died out. But for the most part, it seems like a lot of people, I guess, are getting on board with the whole, like, damn, like, the car scene kind of sucks right now, and something's got to change. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to change. I don't know what's going to happen, but the car meets and the car scene do suck right now. Oh, and cars and coffees. Those are still good for the most part, depending on which ones you go to. I'm sure there's some ass ones, but it seems like most uh, of these fucking numb nuts that just ruin car meets by doing takeover shit or uh, they, they, they don't wake up early enough for a fucking car meet at seven in the morning. So we don't got to worry about them coming to cars and coffee anytime soon. Anyways, guys, I know this is kind of a lazy video. I just really wanted to like vent to you guys. But yeah, in my opinion, this all started from the whole respect all builds thing. I think most people can agree with that. Hopefully they can see like how the dots connect and shit like that. But yeah, it's just my own personal opinion. Anyways, um, I'll give you guys a couple updates. I don't know if you guys saw, but I built a flat bottom tray for the front portion of my engine bay. But yeah, there's, there's a flat bottom now underneath the Supra. Built it myself from scratch. There's the template right there. I know it looks like a lot's going on, but it lines up literally perfect with all factory mounting holes and everything all across it. I'm super happy that I got that done. I have some more metal because I want to make one for the Mustang because it just has the cheap 
factory plastic one and it doesn't cover that much of the engine bay. So I wanna make one for the Mustang. I wanna finish um, expanding on this one for the Supra. And then I have new speakers arriving today for the Supra. I don't really think it's worth making a video on, just replacing speakers. But if you guys are interested, maybe I will post stuff like that on my second channel, which I never use. Anyways, I forgot what I was saying, but let me know if you guys agree with me down below. Subscribe and, um, you know, we can have a discussion in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Until next video, peace.